go about staying ready when you're not necessarily getting a bunch of minutes every game? And what did it feel like to get out there and have that sort of impact? Uh, yeah, just like before. I mean, I just put extra work in. So things, so we have games and I don't play. Um, get in, get extra work, get in the weight room, do all these things, work on my conditioning. Uh, but knew the time had to come when my name called. So I was just, I was lucky enough that got called today, and you know I was ready for the task at hand. So. Jalen, you kind of went nuts when Mikey made the second three when you were at the school table with him. Uh, what's it like to see someone like that who doesn't get those kind of minutes come in and have that kind of impact on the team like this? You kind of needed a win. It's big, you know. I see, like Mikey said, I see him working. I see how hard these guys work. And like our freshmen that are probably, uh, he gets shots up when everybody gets out of practice. And you know, guys like Evan who plays some games and then didn't get a lot of time today, you know, just got in Kanye too, you know, just got to tell him to, you know, stay the course. This is what happens, you know, sometimes you playing some games and doing the others, but I see these guys, so I'm just so excited when they get their names called and they just, you know, finally come out there in the game and get their opportunity. So I see my guys on every day. It's an 18 to two run to close out the first half. What kind of went into that run? Was there maybe a timeout you guys had? We kind of all huddle up, you're like, all right, let's do this thing, or what, what went into that? Um, for us, you know, we felt like we had a good game plan coming in, a new lineup, so you know, we were getting good shots early. We just felt like we had to clean up some early mistakes we were making on the defensive end. We felt like once we started getting on our run, we were connected and we were moving on defense and talking and communicating, so it was allowing us to get out on the ball. Jalen, we, we heard Micah kind of challenge you guys after the losses and wins and stuff. What were these past few days like, and what was it like kind of, kind of hearing that and then kind of recap his team? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, he challenged us, and he, he did it in kind of looking back on it. It was kind of a funny way. He made it like a highlight tape called us soft because we played soft on the road. So we came out this game really focused on, you know, setting screens, being physical, boxing out, and, you know, making people play our game. So um, Coach Hughes is a great motivator. Um, great coach, and we're just going to keep getting better. Uh, guys, Hunter Dickinson only had six points. What was the uh, game plan trying to double him up and limit him to only a minute amount of points? Um, yeah, you know, that was our that was our game plan of playing, you know, kind of like two bigs, trying to make it tough on him, wear his body down, you know, and we got to credit Mikey, um, Caleb Miles, Kevin Weber came in, they made it really tough for him. Um, he's a great player, so, you know, trying to hold him under to six and two, I mean, that's just a credit to these guys and how hard they work. And Coach Hughes very proud of another, you know, great game plan. Jed Howard came out hot. And second half, he just, the adjustments, he completely shut him down. What do you think went into that? Uh, we just, like I said earlier, we just came together with our defense today. There was a lot of emphasis defensively these last couple of days. You know, I'm sure called us off in the media, whatever it was. We tightened some stuff up today. And, you know, Jet came out and he was hot. Second half, he made his catches harder. We hedged out on screens, and he just didn't have as easy of a time getting shots up. Yeah, Mikey, it uh, doesn't really have to do with the game, but you wear these Uno shoes every week. Do you have like a NIL deal with them or something, or you just like how they look? No, nah, that'd be cool. It'd be cool if Giannis could shout me out or something. But no, nah, uh, I started wearing these last offseason, just the Giannis in general, and they've been my favorite basketball shoes. So. Kept it going. Mike, you way back on media day, you mentioned to me that you wanted to just come in and make an impact wherever you can. Tonight, how rewarding is it for you to make an impact the way you did? I mean, it, it feels great. I've just been waiting for the opportunity, and I feel like I always play my best against the best players. And I just want to get that opportunity to play some good teams. So it's just exciting. This team's got a lot more to give. We have a lot more exciting basketball ahead of us, and I'm excited that we played and responded the way we did today. At this point in the season, when Coach Howard actually talks about, you know, this is one of those days where the basketball gods, because some of those shots just hit every single inch of the rim and then fell, or were shots that, you know, maybe on another night wouldn't fall. At this point in the season, when you have those moments leading into Big Ten, you know, home stretch of the Big Ten play, what does it mean momentum-wise and just mentality-wise to have those shots fall when maybe on another night they wouldn't? 
um, it's big for us. You know, we feel like when we play good basketball and we get guys a couple open looks early, they get kind of given the rhythm, then, you know, the tougher shots are going to go in eventually. But we felt like we played good offense all night long. So um, we got a really good shooting team at home, and that's kind of travel on the road for us now. So I can't wait to see um, what this team holds. I mean, it was good energy even after the loss of Rutgers. So um, we feel like we have a good stretch coming up where we can, you know, 